Hey guys, welcome back in Kurivanga YT and in this video, we are going to learn about sequence, how you can set up basically the sequence, how it's work, okay? Like we'll be only learn the basic, okay? So how much I know, I try to learn you. So basically, as here you can see, this is a quite simple scene and I use some Bruce Willis volume and there's a tons of lights and yeah, it's uh, looking pretty much enough good for this vehicle. The main of the scene is this vehicle, okay? So... First of all, as every YouTuber do like a camera that you know just show off their vehicles, so we'll be do the same thing in sequence or in a cinematic view. So first of all, we'll go to in a cinematic, and in a cinematic, we'll be go basically add a cinematic camera that is this one. So if I press G keyboard, so as you can see, I already have a cinematic camera in my scene. Okay, you can actual actually see this cinematic camera. However, there's also a type of cinematic camera available. This cinematic camera already I create this sequence. That's why it's showing like that. So what I do is simply remove that one, and also I delete my this uh, level sequence, uh, the uh, new level sequence data. Okay, it has been deleted. So now let's click on saved and as you can see there's a no camera or actor here so let me test this sequence and there's a sequence too okay so first of all what you need to do just add a cinematic camera okay then you need to just see as you can see you can it's kind of like our look uh, always the usual camera what we use for our game okay that is a pretty similar but this is a kind of like in a cinematic and i'm not sure that well, as you can see this is uh not looking super good or the uh you know sharpness not super good so for do that what i do, uh, do uh, i do it later but first of all let's set up the camera so first of all we need to start a point so in my case i want to that basically scene that it's come from down to up and it's will focus in my vehicle okay so let's give the position on this okay i think this is pretty much enough good so we want that it should become from this side okay so okay so now let's go it up and let's set it up then you need to go to right mouse and here you can you can go to animate and here you find the level sequence so add a level sequence and you can call it your level sequence name so let's give it then uh, lv1 dot sequence that is sequence level one and select save this thing now go to sequence and as you can see in our case that is sequence is empty so what you need to do uh basically uh, you can double click and open this so in a sequence so you can find like this uh, however uh, in our case this is the sequence so double click and open and you maybe find like this like a pop-up so you need to just grab them in a content browser i suggest you i suggest you guys suggest you guys this is most goodly uh points for you know to sequence stuff so now you need to select your camera the sequence camera and drag and drop that sequence camera in your this this timeline is pretty much look like uh if i show you like uh the premiere pro or the video recorder okay or the video editor okay so we have the timeline so let's first of all set up the duration to 12,000. Uh, i think the 12,000 is enough for this one that's why i'm setting the 12,000. so i get great enough a value to make my video okay i have now the twelve thousand uh timeline that is super huge okay so we have basically uh sorry where's the camera go uh let's get our camera again okay now it's set here and let's set it to twelve thousand and here is our camera and will be selected to 60 fps per frame and you can go to some advanced uh, like a blue paint or something like that if you want uh, and there's the export setting you found okay there's pretty much enough everything okay so now first of all as you can see if you press the this camera icon so you will be just view from like the cinematic camera so first of all what i do i select this camera so we can see that what is the basic point so at here uh we can basically select uh press the enter okay this is basically the timeline so this is zero start position press enter to set your keyframe so then the second position will be just drag it some more uh kind of like 22 to 23 and make it uh, down like that so then you need to press enter again so here's the basically between the timeline has been set up so if i uh, play this right now like this play button so you can see the speed that if you want we can make it some more kind of like you know 
uh, if you want you can make it some give it some more time uh, to set up so let's select this thing and make them some you can move that uh, but I'm not sure so I'm just doing the back so it should be gone okay so it's gone so let me give some more because I need some more timeline so the 16 I think it's enough for this one so make it down and how much I need basically okay I think this uh, angle is pretty much enough good so press on enter so as a result if I play so as you can see it's now super smooth okay with that uh, what I do right now basically Mm, because we have the tons of timeline so we need to don't want to uh, out, oh, hurry okay so at here then the second uh, position will be go to you know like this position so it should be move so first of all uh what it will be do it should be go some like forward and like it should be turn the camera right this sides and we'll be now cover up the body part of the vehicle mm, so we can give like this thing okay kind of like this so let me cover up the tires also okay so as you can see it's now looking super great like if i set up from this screen okay we can start from this uh, area so just set up to uh we can make it some smaller however let's give it an answer and then the second one is like this duration enter okay now the third is like will be change the points view of the vehicle so it should become like from here so i'm setting like this and then we'll be get a more some timeline and on that timeline will be get again it make some closer look and give him at this position okay once this thing come at here we'll be make our camera to set up a new uh, look like the upward look kind of like this position i'm just setting you can do whatever you want i'm making it as good as possible so you can do however you want so then just make a scholar like this thing so you can basically get it uh, adjustment that how much far or at which location you should be give your uh, camera to get the vehicle quickly cover up as you can see this location is pretty much enough good but let me give it some more high so okay from my this angle i can see the vehicle uh, interior can be see easily so i'll go like this and get a more timeline <laughs> and select like this okay so then one more what you can do i want to get it from the back side from my ground so just get a new timeline and this is small so now i'll be simply set up the camera like this position make sure that it's enough rotate at a good so I want now this should become like this to this okay like that so it should be from this side let me check are it's coming or not goodly uh, I don't want in a overlap in the tire okay yeah it's good so I will set up on this position and give him enter and that uh, select some more timeline and give it at here and enter and then simply uh, go to up and this is basically the vehicle uh, the vehicle far view Mm, this look is pretty much an upgrade so that's all and then we'll be go again in up okay so that's um, that is my basically the plan so the last of like that okay in a timeline it should be go up 
like this okay so here is basically our keyframe has been ready now let's see in basically check the view how we create let's click on play yeah it's pretty much enough fast so however you can make it some more smaller like you know some you can use some more timeline between these gaps or everything so i just hope you understand how you need to create basically these sequence and thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video